Hey there guys, long time no see. Welcome to my March and April book haul. The reason I decided to do a March and April book haul all in one video is simply because I never really got around to filming my March book haul. So I thought, why just not merge everything into one and yeah, because I didn't get like a huge amount of books anyway, so it just makes sense. The very first book I got was for my birthday from a friend and that is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This I really wanted to read for a while since I saw the movie. Um, I actually went to see this movie with a couple of friends and one of those friends gave me this book for my birthday. Which is really cool because I definitely wanted to see more of the story because it, it's a huge novel and I know not everything of the story can be in the movie adaptation. And I really enjoyed the, the movie so I wanted to see what more there was to the story and all that. So I'm really happy and I hope I can read this soon. <laughs> The next book I got is also a gift, but from another friend, and that is You Had Me at Hello by Mari McFarlane. I don't know if I pronounced her name right, but it's M something McFarlane. It looks fun. It's a chiclet read, I think, and it's about these two people, Rachel and Ben, who are separated after a while and meet again and something like that. Um, it looks really fun, especially to read in the summer, so hopefully I get to it then. The next two books in this haul are actually second-hand books that um, I got a really, really cheap price. And the money I spent on these books will go to charity, so that was... I don't feel guilty at all for buying these. The first book is Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk, or Funke. And this I actually read a long time ago. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I actually really love this author. I read her Ink Heart or Ink World trilogy. Um, I have another book I have to read by her that I own. I really love Dragon Rider. And because I don't really remember the story, I just remember I loved the book. I decided to get it and when I have time to read it again because I remember really, really, really loving this book. Then I have The Snow Child by Ewing Ivy. Um, I actually uh, found an excerpt on Line. The first chapter was um, given for free on PDF and it looked really nice. I also love the simplicity of the cover. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what the story is about, but yeah, I'm excited. Then the last two books I got I was pretty excited about. The first one is... The Hit by Melvin Burgess. This is a limited hardcover signed and numbered copy. So I have Melvin Burgess's signature or autograph right here. And it is numbered and everything. There are only 500 copies like this. Aside from that, um, the story is about a pill that was invented, which basically lets you live and your whole life in one week. Like, you, you live an amazing one week, but after that, you die. And the main character of this novel, um, because he lost his brother, his girlfriend broke up with him, or, yeah, um, and a bunch of other reasons, he th he's thinking of taking this pill, and because he thinks, oh yeah, what have I got to lose? And apparently his ex-girlfriend is going to show him that he has a lot to lose by not living his full life at the normal length and so forth. I think that's pretty much what it's about. I'm not entirely sure. So once I do get around reading it, I will amend any mistakes I might have made in this video. Yeah. And the last book, but certainly not least interesting, is... Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire. If you don't know, this is the sequel of Beautiful Disaster, amazing book, have to check out if you haven't already. Beautiful Disaster was from Abby's point of view and this is the same story, it's approximately the same story from Travis's point of view. 
I really love that this author is giving up the option of seeing a, one same story from two different points of view because usually when you read a novel you always wonder what is that character thinking or you only you have a biased point of view from the main characters here there's another character who plays a main role and you finally get to see what he thought of the events maybe he interpreted certain things differently um, he doesn't necessarily know what is going through the other main character's mind and so forth so I really find that interesting maybe that's because I'm also um, an aspiring author um, I don't know but the, the concept seems really interesting to me. So I'm really, really excited to read this. So that is all for today's book haul. I hope you enjoyed it and you might have found a new book you would like to read. I will be seeing you soon, I hope, in my next video. And until then, bye!